Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Epoxy and here in this video I'll be showing you how to install Fallout 4 Script Extender or F4SE for short and the current build for F4SE right now is 0.1.8 but even if you're downloading this and installing it later down the road, say a few months down the road or even a year down the road, it should be the exact same steps. So anyways, before we go ahead and get into the installation, you're going to first need to make sure that you have 7-zip. Now, if you know you have 7-zip on your PC, that's great and dandy. But if you don't have 7-zip on your PC, you're going to want to go to the link down in the description below for the F4SE Silverlock.org, And this is where you're going to need to download F4SE in the first place. But if you don't have 7-zip, 7-zip, you're going to see a line right here on that page saying having trouble extracting the archive, download 7-zip and do not use anything from the Windows App Store. So we want to go ahead and click this if we have not installed 7-zip and we want to download the version that is required for our PC. So if you don't know what version you have, whether it be 32-bit or 64-bit, you're going to want to go ahead and hit the Windows and pause break key at the same time and this will open up your system information and it will show you whether you have a 64-bit or a 32-bit system right here at system type. So once you know what version you need, go ahead and download that version and install it. It's like any other installer where it's going to run you through the whole entire process and it's going to be very simple. Now we can go ahead and jump into the follow for script extender installation. But first, of course, we have to download it. So let's go ahead and hit the 7-zip archive right beside the current build and it will prompt you where you want to download it to. So I'm going to download it to my desktop so that we know where it is. I suggest you do the same. If you want, you can put it to downloads if you know what you're doing. But anyways, let's put it to our desktop and it should download very, very quickly as it's only a very small file. Now we can go ahead and go to the desktop and extract with our 7-zip that we installed and extract to F4SE and whatever version you have, extract it into a folder of its own. We can then open up the folder and see all the files that it comes with. Now I suggest keeping all these files just in case down the road you decide to do something else with it. So anyways, we now want to go ahead and put this into our follow for directory where the executable files are. So how do we get there and how do we do it very easily and very fast? Well, we want to go ahead and open up Steam and find follow for. We go right click, properties, go to local files, browse local files and this will open up our file explorer where the follow for directory is. So we should see stuff like data, follow for, follow for.exe, follow launcher, that kind of thing. So once we have both of these opened here, we can go ahead and just copy everything in the F4SE folder, go ahead and paste it into the follow for directory and it should copy in without asking you to replace anything as these are F4SE files and it doesn't overwrite anything of the vanilla game. So I just, it's asking me whether I want to replace it as I already have it in the directory. I can go ahead and just press replace. And then we have F4SE installed. Now the only thing here is currently at the time of making this video, you cannot, even after running the F4SE loader, you cannot launch your game through Steam and have Fallout 4 script extender work. You have to load through your F4SE loader every single time you want to use Fallout 4 script extender and any mods that require it. So all you have to do is run up F4SE loader and it will launch up the game normally. And once we get to the main menu, I'll show you how to ensure whether your Fallout 4 script extender is installed correctly. And it's actually pretty simple. So let's go ahead and get to the main menu. And all you have to do is press the tilde key. It'll be shown on screen now. And then you want to type in get F4SE version, hit enter, and it should say F4SE version 0.1.8 along with other things. Now, if it gives you an error of any type, that means you didn't follow this tutorial properly or your version of Follow 4 is incompatible with Follow 4 Script Extender. So that's actually it for installing Follow 4 Script Extender. If this video did help you out at all and you enjoyed it, please smack that like button down below and subscribe to join the good fight if you haven't already. It would be super greatly appreciated. Also, as always, go check out sugarbomb.com, the beautiful forum for you to share and discuss anything Fallout or the Elder Scrolls related, along with other things in the gaming realm. You can even talk to some content creators in the community, such as myself, Mr. Matty Plays, Fudge Muppet, alongside a few others. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, the link for that will be down in the description below. But like I said, that's it for this tutorial, and until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.